Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, make sure you subscribe. Um, this video is going to be about tips for doing large knotless braids. Large braids are usually way harder to do than smaller braids. So I'm going to give you guys all the tips that I know, all the tips that I think are very important when doing large knotless braids. Make sure you watch the whole video to listen to all the tips that are going to be along with this video. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So the gels that I'm using for this video is Instant Control. I've never used this gel before. What I will say is in between the style, I did happen to stop using the gel just because it just really looked not like it was giving a white cast, but it did look make the style look dry and I don't like to add too much oil to my client's hair after I get done. I don't want to overdo the oil just because of the gel. So I noticed it was just really tacky for me. I wasn't really a fan of it. Um, so you'll see what I ended up using instead going back to what I usually use when I do large knotless braids. Make sure when you guys are parting, you are completely pulling the hair apart. Make sure you're brushing the hair that needs to go up, up, and the hair that needs to go down, down. This will help you see your part clearly, absolutely clearly. This is gonna really enhance the way you see that part. Also, by grabbing the hairs, like pulling the hairs down and up, it'll help you just see the part really clearly because of course your scalp moves so this is why i twist all the hair together how i'm holding it at the bottom because once i braid that it's going to be tighter so it's going to probably the part is probably going to look different so you want to make sure that you're pulling looking and just doing it up until that part is absolutely crisp Right here is where we're gonna start braiding. So you wanna make sure that you put gel on all four sides of that braid. Make sure you get it on the side, the top, the other side, and especially the bottom. Some people like to put the gel in between. Um, I think if I have enough gel, me just combing it through like this is, you know, it's good for me. Make sure you get all those edges nice and flat, kind of like you're about to do almost like a ponytail. So make sure you get all, you brush all the, not brush, but comb all those sides. The left, the top, the, the right, underneath, all of it. Then you want to make sure that after you get a good comb through that you are gripping it. See that left hand I have? A good grip. Then that right hand, I, I did kind of like a really hard grip on it to make it flat part my little pieces into three make sure i'm staying up close to her head do not lose your grip y'all do not use like lose that grip i'm gonna slow it down so i'm grabbing it like a ponytail with the right hand and then immediately grabbing it with the left and then starting to make those three little parts still having that grip on those hairs still have a good grip on it that middle piece is very important. Make sure that it lays absolutely flat when you braid. See how I switch in the pieces? Make sure it's all they're all laying absolutely flat. And this is where I start braiding.
So after that first row on the bottom where the nape is, um, I start on the second row. But first I part it all down the middle. Then I just wanted to show you guys the how I part it. So basically, once I part all down the middle, I just part one side of her head and then put that top section away. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now, above her ear, I should have three rows. Below her ear, I have that one row. So all together, I'm going to basically have four rows. So your next mission on the next row is to make sure you put a braid in between the braids on the bottom. So as you can see, I'm making a section to do a braid right there in the middle, right there in the middle. That way that braid falls in between the two on the bottom. This is going to help to not give your braids that spacey look and to make sure that there is a braid covering every basically part underneath so you are layering the braids but you don't want them to be on top of each other
so this is end of that braid um i'm just showing you guys that i decided to go back to my shine and jam that's what i usually use and i usually mix it with this other gel i think it's called i think it's pronounced bella teak i'm not sure but i'll show you um on the camera um in just a few clips so after doing that middle braid, I'm going to put two braids on the right hand side and I'm going to put two braids on the other side of her head. So this is me working on that last braid on the right side of her head and on the left side of her head, I'm going to put two other braids. Make sure you do it symmetrical. Everything should be symmetrical. What you do on one side of the head, you should be doing on the other. Now, I'm going to show you how I add hair. I'm trying to show y'all as slow as possible. Right here, I just add that piece of hair to the middle and to the right side. And I literally keep on braiding as if I didn't just do that. Don't let adding hair trick you guys up. It is really simple. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but this is how I seal the braid. I just get a thin piece of hair.
put that behind two fingers over the braid and pull basically like a knot so i'll slow it down for you get a really thin piece of hair make sure it's long enough and you're going to want to put two fingers out you're going to put the hair on top over the braid get behind the braid and pull it through So like I said before, above her ear, she's going to have three rows. So this is me showing you just a draft of what the rows are going to look like. That braid above her ear, that second row, and that third row in my other hand. So that braid we have right there on top of that braid now it's going to be a part so we're going to put three braids on the right hand side of her head and then on the left side we're going to put three braids as well so it should be six braids in total so here is that gel i was telling you guys about that i mixed in with the shiny jam it looks way lighter than the other gel and it just it just does a really good job never leaves a white cast and it gives a really nice hold which i absolutely love now we're going to work on the top make sure you get in front of your client to see if that middle part is in the middle i get behind my client make sure it's in the middle get back up at the front look at that part pull it apart see how many times you need to do it to get it absolutely crisp and absolutely in the middle now up top here on our last row, we are going to have three braids. So three on the left and then three on that right side where the pink hairpin is at. So on that last row, we should have six braids just like we had underneath. So make sure that this braid is going in between the other braids underneath it. So that we, we are layering and not putting it right on top of each other.
so now this braid is coming to an end our last braid make sure that you spray your client's hair dip it and you should be all set this is the end of the video make sure you like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys want to see next